Hello to all my loved ones and those interested in the fixed focus program. This video is the second part of making a solar dish and I hope you have enough patience to watch this video. In the previous part, we started making a spherical mold, which was a difficult task, and we did it. Now I put an iron structure on this mold and tried to use light iron profile so that the window is light. And on this plaster mold, the welding of this window has been done. Now this window-like structure is ready and it does not weigh much, but it can be integrated with fiberglass and is very strong and has a long life. Due to the welding on the gypsum mold, some parts of it have been damaged. I will restore these points and paint the iron window with a special anti-rust color. After that, we will move on to the stage of working with fiberglass resin. You can see the dimensions of this structure in the figure. Well, I sanded and then painted this window. I also repaired the plaster spherical mold. To show the implementation of the plaster restoration method, I take the camera close to the mold. Well, we put some plaster on the Harris Continental filling knife and draw it to the points that have depressions that ASI do. You can see how easily all the grooves of the mold are covered and the spiral movement of the Harris Continental filling knife makes the grooves easier to fill. We prepare a wet sponge. Now you can use this wet sponge to make the surface of the mold smoother. If some parts of the plaster mold have protrusions, you can clean them with this blade scraper. You can see how these plaster additions are removed. Now look at the curve of the Korean mold from this angle to understand its accuracy. I'm putting the structure in place. And with a spray paint, I define the specify of work with fiberglass resin on the mold. Now the workplace is determined and I pick up the structure. In order to prevent the resin from pouring out of the mold when working with fiberglass, we use foam tape that this is an example. And the other sample is spongy and softer and will be compressed more. But this becomes less compressed. So I use this sponge sample and glue the structure all around. Now I cover the entire surface of the mold with thin plastic. The use of thin plastic has two advantages, firstly, the resin does not touch the plaster mold and the mold is easy to remove, and secondly, it removes small dents. I put the thin layer of plastic on the mold. And so that the wind does not move the plastic, you can glue or staple around the plastic. Of course, this problem won't exist in closed space. To install the mirrors, we have two solutions, or to place the mirrors in order on the mold now, arrange them, and then apply fiberglass on it. 
Or to make a dish mold with fiberglass and then stick the mirrors on it, and we want to use this method in this video. It is important to note that I use square pieces of 5 cm mirrors and small dents in the mold do not affect the correct installation of the mirrors. Now, special fibers for fiberglass must be used to make fiberglass. One type of these fibers is known as fiberglass needle mat. Pay attention, do not use any other fibers than fiberglass fibers. Now I place the fiberglass needle mat on the mold according to the markings and staple around it. So now I put the fiberglass on the mold and put the structure on it. Now let's go to the preparation of fiberglass materials. For this purpose, if you are in the open space, it is not a big problem. But in any case, it is better to use a suitable mask and the use of gloves is 100% mandatory. If you do not know about the preparation of fiberglass, watch its educational videos, which are also many. We must try to remove the protrusions of fiberglass needle mat when pouring resin. I would like to fiberglass the mold twice and separately. Therefore, I think a 4 liter polyester resin will be enough and I hope it will be enough. And also two small bottles of cobalt accelerator and two bottles of catalyst, which of course is too much for 4 liters. I prepare the resin and pour it on the sides of the structure first. And then I cover the whole template. Now the first stage of fiberglass is over. And we let it dry for an hour and then we go to the second step.
Well, the second stage has also ended and our work in the fiberglass part has ended. We wait a day for it to dry well and then we remove the mold to see the result of our work. It was hard work, and if a professional had done it, it would have been done much better. It's been almost 24 hours since the fiberglass was made. And it has dried well and is very firm. Well, I will open the mold in your presence so that we can see the result. I hope we get a positive result. Not very interesting anyway, I will cut the surrounding in extra bumps. You can see that the work surface has a depression and we have to putty its surface. The reason for these depressions is that the air under the fibers was not removed properly when pouring the resin. I had to putty the surface of the dish. But because we use a 5 cm mirror, therefore, small depressions are not noticeable for its surface. And it is placed in the same way everywhere. So we putty some dents which exceeds a certain amount. Here, I will tell you how to make fiberglass putty. First, choose a dish. Then pour some resin into it. And then we pour a small amount of cobalt accelerator on it. And we mix them well. And then you add marble dust to it in the right amount. This powder is the same as calcium carbonate. Now and at first, we mix it gently. If you look carefully, you will see that it has become the shape of peanut butter. Well, I pour some of it on a surface. Then add a few drops of catalyst and mix well. And I'm going to put some of it on the Harris Continental filling knife and fill the dent. Well, I will do some more putty work and let's go to the method of cutting mirrors. 
In order to cut the mirrors, we need to know the maximum length that can fit in the spherical arc. For example, if it is 5 square centimeters or 4 square centimeters or less, of course, make sure that the smaller the thickness of the mirrors, the more accurate the work will be and it should not be more than 2 millimeters. The length of the mirror should be suitable for the arc of your solar dish, and of course, in theory, the length of the mirror should be close to zero. But because we want the focus to be in a place with certain dimensions, we choose a bigger mirror length. I have a piece of bent iron pipe from the dish arc. Now, if I place a 5 cm square mirror under the iron pipe, no light should pass under it, although there is a little slack on the pipe. Therefore, a 5 cm mirror is good, and a 4 by 4 mirror is much better, and no light passes under it. And 100% 3 by 3 is much better. In fact, the smaller the mirrors are, the more the focus will be, of course, provided that your dish is made precisely. Also, the use of small mirrors, in addition to the difficulty of arranging them, will cause a lot of focus in the focus, which may also melt metals. So we need to create a proper concentration in the focus. So we use 5 by 5 parts and even broken parts can be used to buy mirrors. This mirror is 2 mm thick and I have to cut it into 5 by 5 cm pieces. For cutting, we use two flat iron bars of suitable length. We place the first iron flat bar at the end in a fixed way. And I put the second flat bar on the mirror like this. We put a half millimeter cardboard on the mirror and then plaster both sides. Let's go to do so. Now, if you look carefully, I have placed a piece of mirror with a piece of cardboard on both sides of the iron flat bar, and I have also placed cardboard on the main mirror. The mirror we have to cut is 5 times 5, but I need to measure the distance between the edge of the glass cutter and its cutting blade. It is exactly 3 millimeters when I measure it with a caliper. You can see this distance in the figure. Therefore, the inner size of two iron flat bars should be 53 millimeters. I do this with calipers. Now I adjust the inner distance of two flat bars to 53 millimeters. And without changing the condition of two iron flat bars, I plaster both sides. The plaster is almost dry and we can make the cut. First, I take out the mirror and remove the cardboard on it. And then we put the mirror in place again. And I cut with a glass cutter, and the blade of the glass cutter must be greasy so that it can cut easily. Now I will make another cut, you can use more mirrors to increase the speed of work. Now these mirrors are square, equal to each other and 5 by 5 centimeters. 
I will cut all the required mirrors in the same way. I need about 1300 pieces. And I'm doing all the cuts. To make sure that the sides of the cut parts are completely vertical and not in the form of a rhombus, you can use a set square. We pass the set square under the iron flat bar like this until it hits the second iron flat bar. Now we cut a mirror or more, leaning on the set square. With this method and safely all the pieces will be a square. Now I want to start gluing the mirrors. And we should try to stick mirrors regularly on the dish for the convenience and beauty of our work. This part is an iron corner and it is above the solar dish and the solar tracker is placed on it. I use a metal L to mark the edge of the dish and draw a line with a marker. Therefore, we start the mirror installation settings from here. As you can see and I start gluing the mirrors from the edge of the line. We start gluing the first mirror exactly from this corner. To glue the mirrors, the best option is silicone glue. This glue is special for aquarium construction and therefore it is impermeable to water and also has elastic properties against expansion and contraction. The very important thing is that behind all the mirrors there should be a full cover of silicone glue, and this will prevent the mirrors from oxidizing. Do not choose grade 3 adhesive and test it before work. Now I moved the solar dish to the top of the roof and there was a possibility that after the dish was completed, the mirrors might get damaged during transport. An easier way to stick mirrors is to use sticky back plastic, which can be used to stick more mirrors. In this way, it can be ensured that the back of all the mirrors is covered with silicone glue and also the speed of work is higher in this method. The disadvantage of this method is that the arrangement of the mirrors on the dish in different blocks will be spaced, and this depends on your choice.
The work of installing the mirrors is finished, but the silicone glue behind the mirrors has not dried yet, and it should be given two days to dry well. That's why I couldn't wash the mirror surface. But all these efforts were to have a good concentrator of the sun's radiation. I will place a piece of wooden board in the focus of the dish to test its focus accuracy. The light on the wooden board is extremely high and really hurts the eyes, and this is due to the reflection of the board. The air temperature here is 3 degrees Celsius above zero. If the mirrors are cleaned, the light focusing power will probably increase by 1.5 times. Of course, the dish is not exactly perpendicular to the sun, because the shadow of the wooden board is not in the center of the solar dish, and in the future, its movement on the fixed focus system will be a real test. The wood is now burning. You can see the burning place of the wooden board. Well, let's go for the last word. It was hard work, but it was done with relative errors. In fact, if I had seen such a video before work, my work would have been much easier and more accurate. After watching this video, if you want to prepare a large solar dish with this method, you must do much, much better than me. Because you are now equipped with the hands-on training of this video. In this part, I will tell you the important points that must be said and that were not clear in the video. The first and most important point is to think before you act because thinking is better than anything, especially in technical matters. The second point is that the circular base that we placed under the plaster mold should be more than one, and its one in the previous video caused more plaster to be used. I used 6 bags of 25 kilos of plaster, if I used another base, maybe 3 bags of plaster would have been enough. In the figure you can see the base that I mean. The third point is that the bent pipe that I used to shape the mold and had a hole in the middle of it for rotation, put a small piece of pipe in this hole and then weld it. Look at the figure. The fourth point is that I put two bearings in the middle of the central base, it is better to remove the bearings and weld the threaded wire in the center of the pipe with a suitable gasket. See the shape of this base. The fifth point, in order for the plaster to be easily separated from the large bent tube that forms the mold, you can cover the entire tube with heat shrink and it is useless to apply grease or oil. Or cover the pipe with suitable plastic adhesive tape. The sixth point is that if you do such work in winter, you should be careful of the plaster mold freezing because the water inside the plaster will freeze and damage your plaster mold. Of course, if the plaster is completely dry, there will be no problem. 
The seventh point is related to the work of fiberglass and you should be careful to use small pieces of fiberglass needle mat so that you can completely venting it and do not need putty. And it was my mistake that I could not do complete ventilation in the preparation of fiberglass, and the trouble of putty was also added. The eighth point is that definitely and definitely the back of all the mirrors should be completely covered with silicone glue. If there is no silicone glue behind the mirror, the mirror will oxidize with the first rain and lose its ability to reflect and I also made this mistake in gluing the mirrors, and some of the mirrors were oxidized by the rain. I can't think of anything else, but if you have any questions, write them in the comments so that I can answer them. I will place this solar dish upside down on the roof floor until the fixed focus system is ready. In addition, because the silicone glue is under the mirrors and is not exposed to the air, it dries slower and needs at least two days. Seven silicone adhesives were used for gluing the mirrors and I have to say that this solar dish has cost me $150 and this cost is different in different countries. In the future, I will have to change the old fixed focus system so that it has the ability to place and move this new solar dish. So, goodbye until the next program and a meeting with you again.